It's first day, travel day. Getting some breakfast right now. I think I'm all packed up. I'm not really sure. I know I'm going to forget something. I just need to make sure that it's not something super important. So I'm just getting ready. We've got like 30 minutes before we go to the airport. And so I'll get some food. And I'm trying to think if there's anything else I'll need. Again, I'll just figure it out when I get there properly. Uh, just as long as I have clean underwear or something like that. Some toothpaste. I'm not smelling stanky deodorant, but I will see you, I guess, at the airport. Bye, mountains. I'm going to see some other mountains. Don't get jealous. I'm cheating on you. So I'm in the, um, the airport now over in Chicago and I got some of the fun stuff of traveling so they transferred me over. Uh, one of my flights was delayed so it actually coincided with the other flight departing so I could get there when the other one was leaving. So that's no bueno and uh, so I got that worked out but instead of getting there at 11 at night I'll be getting there about 10 in the morning with an extra flight in Bogota, but I get to go to Colombia now and they gave me some Monopoly money to play with as a uh, a kind of compensation, so got me some uh, good old nondescript coffee brand uh, Don't look at that and the pre-made scone so Yeah United fueling your white girl basic needs one delay at a time, but I'm in good spirits, so I'll talk to you in a little bit. If only I could go faster. Oh. Okay, I made it to Houston Airport um, with that delay, so everything is normal for now, but I also have a seven hour layover here, so I'll be chilling here until about midnight. It's about 7.30 right now, so I guess I'm gonna wander around and adventure a little bit. Uh, but I had to go through the United uh, customer service, which was not the most exciting thing I've ever done, especially with a line of angry people. Had about as much charm as the DMV on a very, very busy day, so it was interesting. But a lot of, a lot of Spanish was being spoken, so that was cool. I uh, found another uh, person who got screwed over by the delay, and I was talking to some Ecuadorian lady that was pretty nice and supportive. and. Uh, I met my friend from the flight. I made friends with a mechanical engineer and he was from Costa Rica so we got to chit chat a little bit and practice some Spanish, get me in the mindset. And so now I'm just kind of here letting my brain do whatever. So I'm probably going to add some stuff to the vlog and just chill out. But I figured I'd make an update video. Yeah. Honestly, I wouldn't hate that job. Oh, really? Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. In the noche, it's a poco más movimiento. Hay más bulla. Mucho ruido, mejor. Noise. Another noise. Es muy seguro en la Plaza Porsche. Hay muchos eh, eh, policías que cuidan las calles. De todas maneras, si, si vienen, no beban mucho, poco, normal. Hey everybody! Alright, so uh, thanks for watching my first vlog. It wasn't really too much of a vlog. Um, that was Most of the footage that I got from that was just within the first two days. 
of being here. So I landed um, the, I guess it was the 17th. I was supposed to get here the 16th, but I had a lot of trouble, as you can see. Um, and so I was exhausted. I hadn't slept really anything. So any of the vlogs, any of the chit chat that you heard, it's probably super lacking in any sort of like dynamic attitude and personality or legitimate thought processes because I was not thinking in English or Spanish. So it was a, kind of a bad time. But um, once I got on the ground, it was great. Met my host family and really enjoyed it. Uh, so the day after, we ended up going to El Centro Historico, which is where you see a lot of the footage there um, as we're driving along, uh, just to kind of get an idea of what the city looks like. Um, I still am figuring out the whole camera situation and stuff like that. So this was my first go at all of the footage and stuff like that. And honestly, I'm not very proud of it. I don't like the way it looks. It's pretty jerky and whatnot. But um, as we go along, it's it's starting to progress a lot better. So this was about two and a half weeks ago that I shot a lot of this stuff and I wanted to put it together and uh, upload it before it was not really very relevant because I've already been here for about two and a half weeks. So I wanted to get the whole introduction stuff out of the way with um, landing and um, the initial trips to uh, El Centro Historico. So be on the lookout for some more blog content. Uh, I've taken a lot of videos, a little bit less like chit chat vloggy stuff, but I'm hoping to get more content. I've just been so busy with everything that I really haven't any time to upload anything. So what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to have a little bit of time to work ahead and get some cool posts and stuff like that um, and release them on a weekly basis at the very least and hopefully one written one video per week. Um, I want to do a little bit about food, I want to do a little bit about the, the adventures and stuff so there's no lack of content to write about there's just lack of content that I've created so give me a little bit more time and I'm gonna have stuff from La Mitad del Mundo, we went to Papayacto which is the thermal springs, we went to um, Otavalo, which is the artisanal market, so be on the lookout for some fun stuff. Uh, again, thanks for sitting through all this stuff. I'm going to put the link to the blog down below. Please like and subscribe if you enjoy this. You'll get some more stuff, and as, like I said, the quality is going to improve as we go along. So have a good one, and I hope your adventures are just as fun as mine. See ya.